Love them or hate them, Gucci are a really interesting company. Let's talk about them. Gucci was founded in 1921 by this guy who has the most Gucci name ever. He is Guccio Gucci. Seriously. He worked at the Savoy as a bellboy, um, talked about the Savoy in, in the past, the uh, first modern luxury hotel in the world. And through that he learned the tastes of the rich. It was a small leather goods company, then after the war his children took over. And in 1947 they created this, the bamboo bag, which is still sold today. And in 1953 the horse bit loafers, which are still sold today. They also came up with a wonderful slogan, quality is remembered long after price is forgotten. Gucci then had a very weird time. They were infighting in the family, and then there was a huge fight with uh, LVMH, L L Louis Vuitton, which was finally all settled, and then Tom Ford came in as a creative director. And Tom Ford hired Alessandro Michaela, who was working for Fendi at the time. And that's him. One of them. The other one's Jared Leto. You have to work it out. Alejandro was originally uh, hired to look at the handbags, uh, and then broadened out to accessories. As change of creative director, Gucci were not doing very well. Uh, he was temporarily promoted uh, to look after a single show and then after two days was promoted to creative director. Now, like or hate Alexandro, uh, and like and hate Gucci, the red line is when he was taken on, uh, uh, 2015 I think it was, and you can see they're starting to go up. Uh, and this is his full creative directorship. He's taken them to 9 billion, nearly 10 billion in revenue. Uh, the green line is Puma. This is the group which, which owns all the companies. So to say if you're interested in the history of fashion or business generally or marketing, looking at the history of, of Gucci is absolutely fascinating from, you know, going back to their core designs and Alejandro is obsessed with going back to the archives and bringing up and, and recreating classics and that. It's an amazing business story. So let me know if you want me to talk about other brands. Also, I'm trying to do lives more regularly now. I might even kind of do a schedule of lives because now apparently you can subscribe.